contemplative practices that you know our professors bring into the classroom have an effect on what we're talking about, the topics that we're that we're dealing with. You're getting out of your body. You're 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 shifting your perception of of how you normally view sitting in a classroom. And all of a sudden, you can really have that, you know, that lightning bolt insight that comes out just because for 10 minutes, you're being told to write and not stop and not even think about what you're writing. And then all of a sudden, you look down and you're like, oh my God, like, I can, I can have a project out of this, you know? This can really go somewhere amazing. Classroom is a kind of laboratory, what happens when you break a line, what does it mean to cross the space between one paragraph and another. One of the things that I've kind of finessed since I've been here is the power and beauty of the constraint um, and how unlimiting it is to work with constraints. I also really started to work with page and textuality. You know, I had a whole section in my manuscript that was based on scars and figuring out how I can make scar tissue grow over the words and between the words and on the page through materials as well as through the content. 